Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we are joined by Sister, boo, 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 boo. this is Peyton, and we are here, as you guys can see by the title, we're reviewing Spider-Man. No, wait, home. <laughs> So, to start off our own thoughts, well, okay, back it up, Buttercup. To start off, this is a spoiler review. That is what I meant to say. So, disclaimer, if you guys haven't seen it, don't want to see it, and you're scared, first off, don't be scared. Go see it. Second off, if you don't want it spoiled, don't continue on, because this whole thing is a spoiler. Um, but, yes, yeah, so let's get into it. Thoughts. I loved it. It was one of the best movies I've ever seen in my whole entire life. What did you think, sister? Hi, guys. Tell the people. Um, I I thought it was really good. I missed my assignment of rewatching okay. all the movies, but she it was did. still really good and really like easy to catch on to. If you haven't seen any of the That's other right. Spider-Man movies, or if it's just been a while for me, it's been a while. Um, so it was very cool. I really liked it. Yeah. I feel as though I knew the whole movie, though, going in. And I hadn't seen it's any spoilers online. But, like, I, I don't know if it was the trailer. We talked about this. We, we did. And that's why we're here to tell the people about it. Yes. Because it was... For the girls who get it, get it. And the ones that don't, don't. Because it was, like, spoiled without spoiled. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah, it was very predictable. I don't know. I feel like they should have yeah. given us a little bit less in For the sure. official trailers. In the trailers. Um, it kind of was like a two-part kind of feel to the yeah. movie. And so I feel like if they had just given us a trailer based on maybe the first part and the first concept mm -hmm. where we left off in Far From Home. Yeah, because it totally could have been yeah. two separate films. Two separate Because... Films. Like, yes, Marvel movies are long, and that's what they're known for, but this one was like, okay, what what the frick is happening? Why am I watching two separate movies? But I also get it from a film standpoint, because they had to wrap up how Far From Home ended and establish what was happening in this one, but I feel like it could have been done better and more cohesively um, than it was, because it was, like, very slow and, like, nothing's happening, like, we're trying to figure out why is Peter Parker Spider-Man and why does everyone know that? Um, there was literally nothing about Mysterio after the fact that he released the video saying that Peter Parker is Spider-Man yeah. and then it was just nothing, which I get all. it because he's dead, but at the same time, it's like... Is he dead? Like, really? Because like, why would he blow up Peter Parker's life like that? Like, what does he gain? Maybe nothing. he's just... Well, he you know, was just, a, just he was evil really and he's just a <laughs> booty flake. But he like, was. why? You know, you're dead. Like, why would you? I'm yeah, gonna blow his life up. You're dead. You're dead. So stop. So sit up in your grave. Give it up, please, sweetie. Give, give it up. up the ghost, give as up. Michael Jackson has stated. Girl, Michael Jackson did, did he not say give, say up, give the up the ghost. He Girl, said that is the... something that elder ethnic people say. Oh, uh, Shirley Dunn gave up the ghost. Girl. <laughs> That's something that people say during Easter. No, like, ma'am. Gave up the ghost. No, ma'am. Not, that's not, not, <laughs> not. I've been thinking that Michael Jackson. Michael did Jackson that. did not say that. I'm crucified. For the people, Michael Jackson did Please. that. That's okay. Because okay. this one was only alive like five two years days. into the timeline of Michael days. Jackson. This is, my, so that's this okay. is day two of that's my fine. life. Um, that's but fine. yeah, it was a fire movie, though. We're having a lab appearance. We're, okay. Are we going to have a lab appearance? <laughs> There's our dog. Where's Brooklyn, the dog? It was a very dark tone because, like, everyone's fighting a ghost. Like, he's fighting a ghost, guys, because all these dudes died in the previous movies fighting the other spider man mm -hmm. all the villains. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it's just, like, dark of, like, what's going on. There's so many deaths. There's so much going on. How it ended with everyone just not knowing of Peter Parker's existence is terrible. Um, and I feel like that's kind of dark too, just to like, 
I almost feel like that ending was worse than death for him. Yeah. Because like rough. they're right there in his face. And so he dies a little bit every single time he sees like MJ and Ned and Happy. Oh my gosh, that scene took me out. Also feel like he's the the Peter Parker that lost the most. Like everybody lost their people. Yeah, but he lost his aunt, Uncle Ben. There's some speculation as to if Uncle Ben was like a real thing in yeah, that's um, true. Tom, in Holland's, Tom Holland's version. Peter Parker. But yeah. like he lost his uncle, his aunt, his parents, his best friends, his mentor, his girlfriend, y'all, Tony Stark, his oh, yeah. girlfriend. So like the he lost Avengers everybody. Are dead to him now because they everybody. don't know him. Everybody, Doctor Strange and them don't know who he yeah. is. So he literally lost everyone. everything, and, and I feel like, like that is so that's busted. Tragic. And I hope there's is there another movie confirmed because not confirmed, speculated though. Because we we gotta you There's, know it, we gotta it's explore been speculated. this. So and Venom was in the end. The three we gonna talk about that. Mm -hmm. It's been speculated that Tom Holland has signed on for three more movies, which is rare because Excellent. typically the characters only get like their own like a trilogy. So like Iron Man had a trilogy. Um, technically Thor had a trilogy, but they're bringing in Thor: Love and Thunder, so that'll be four. Okay. Um, Captain America had a trilogy. So it's very common for trilogies to happen, but it's been speculated that Spider-Man will return. Um, I just don't know how they're going to do it because mm -hmm. none of the Avengers know him, or the new Avengers, I guess, know him unless they do, which will be interesting. Oh, but interesting. there's that. There were very high stakes throughout the whole movie. Um, it felt like because it was literally life and death <laughs> constantly of mm -hmm. like, I'm fighting ghosts, so they're already dead, but I'm trying to make their lives better when they go back right. to their own uh, multiverse. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, and then obviously for Peter himself, it was very high stakes because he ended up losing everything, um, which could have been prevented. Um, so I thought going to like going off of that, the character development was off mm. for me. Like Doctor Strange, his character would not have done that. I don't feel like. Yeah. Like, that, that was I'm, just I'm in not... agreement with that. That was really irresponsible. And he knows that. Like, come on. This is this is a guy who was going through all the scenarios yeah. and in-game and everything. And so, I don't understand why he was like, oh, okay, kid, whatever you want. Yeah, I feel true. like it couldn't control the spell and everything. So, I feel like that was really um, unrealistic. Yeah, it didn't it didn't suit his character well because like even it we saw in his first movie that he was very like arrogant and like full of himself. And so for him to do this for this kid and it's like he's not gaining anything from it. Yeah, it that's was not very Dr. much like Cause Peter's cute, and I know he like run yeah. like, you know, wear down on people, but not that much. Like that was stupid. And mm -hmm. there was many other ways we could have solved this issue. It wasn't giving um, anything. But you know, it. that's what gives us the conflict and the ability to have conflict resolution in these yeah, movies. Yeah, so they so. all gave up the ghost. Um, also, the multiverse idea was amazing. I really like the idea that they're bringing that in just because it's giving Disney Channel back in the day when everybody the collab episodes the crossover episodes where it's like all your favorite people from all these different worlds are coming together mm. so hashtag spoiler again the um toby mcguire and andrew garfield spider-man did appear and it was amazing but it also felt very much like i knew it was going to happen and it wasn't i did, i was able to like dodge all the spoilers but it felt like marvel and sony did a terrible job at on their end because like the trailer gave us so much that it was easy to guess like okay all of the villains like all of them were there and so therefore of course the heroes are going to show up because if all the villains right. are there speaking of villains what was lizard doing can we have a moment I'm trying to turn everybody in the whole world like lizards girl because for real Cause tell me why in the the OG movie back in the day that he was in, he was trying to turn everybody into lizards in the city because he turned himself into a lizard because he wanted his arm to grow back like lizards can grow back their tails. 
See, and that's 83. Because we've like, got some really good technology now. There's some really nice technology now, for prosthetics. but in his movie, there wasn't. <laughs> um, you're right. That was like early 2007. Yeah, so. But I'm like, we've got really nice stuff. And you just trying to turn into a lizard. That's extreme. That was really, it was and really he disrespectful. Was still, he that's was on was. that same time type of time. Well, because and- I really only remember like maybe one scene with him. And that was when he busted out of the truck. And I don't even know where he went after that. I don't know. Remember either. when they trapped he him? He came in the to truck? like fight, but yeah, he and, like there I, was no. I didn't even remember him. seeing them trap him in the truck. Like I don't even remember. They that. did. There was no scene trapping him. He was just in the truck, <laughs> girl. Outside of like the apartment building, trying to and grow out. his arm back. Please. Anyway. <laughs> it was anyway, and child. the fact of like all the other villains have like a run in with either. The kids, like MJ and Ned, or they had a run-in with Peter or um, Benedict, um, Dr. Strange. And the lizard didn't. They spoke of it because um, Dr. Strange say. said that he found him in the sewers. Mm-hmm. But that was really it. He just kind of appeared. Yeah, that wasn't necessary. Like, he needed but more of a storyline there. Our favorite villain. Oh, we had a fa- Oh, we did. Because Willem Dafoe. Of this movie. Listen, y'all. Willem Dafoe. He's going to come up. He's going to show up. He's going to be on time. My man said. He's going to deliver. He's going to act. He said pumpkin bombs. A-C-T. He's going to throw the pumpkin bombs. He said. He's going to do it. And he did. And that was really fun. Indeed. Because, you know, I'm always amazed at Marvel because we get these big villains and it's like, oh. Yeah, that's true. You know, Ultron. Oh, um, you know, now we got Thanos. Oh, we got, you know, but like. The Eternals, that one slapped Oh, I haven't seen the Eternals yet. Yeah, who they fought. That was crazy. I know how you girls like to tussle. But. I'm going I'm to see Eternals and also Shang-Chi, too. Yeah, that, that was been fire. busy. We did a review but, on that. But, like, um, I'm amazed at how, you know, I know he's not a new villain, but to bring him back and, you know, convince us, like, this man is crazy and he's on his Green Goblin-ish. Yeah, yeah. So, I really enjoyed seeing William Dafoe. Yeah, um, it's crazy because I feel like Marvel himself really has developed Mm -hmm. because this um phase four is going so hard because i saw a bunch of articles of like how their characters are when it comes to villains and that there's a there's very much a structure but with this one there was no structure Mm -hmm. so usually the villain has some backstory as to like why they became the villain um so like electro he just wanted to be appreciated and loved and then he fell into some electric yeah, eels and everyone was like oh you're trash we gotta fight you and so of course he's gonna be a villain about that um and so like different things like that and that makes sense to have a villain origin story of mm-hmm. people just treated me like trash and i hate them and or i just want to see my daughter so i became sandman like stuff like that yes. but with willem dafoe's character green goblin there is no like i mean not like no backstory but it's like, I'm just evil because I'm evil. He's just and evil that's just it. Evil. And so that's kind of cool to see that, like, he's just a bad guy. You know, like, he really just is a villain. He's There's no, like, mega mind mm-hmm. moment of, like, I'm bad, but I'm good type of thing. It's like, I'm just trash. He's just... He just is what he is. Green Goblin. Yeah. So that was cool. That was really yeah. classic. It was. The CGI... Um, they step it which up just every come time. a long way yeah, yeah like, which marvel is really, really cool. pulls out all the stops for their animation and all of their techniques to get all that stuff on screen so you know as usual amazing really great really Something graphic moving marvelous. around amazing. you know I, I think i tend to think that because it's spider-man he's this high school kid that got mm-hmm. bit by a spider that part and he's lost his parents and it's like oh this sweet little kid I think I tend to think like, oh, his movie's going to be pretty tame. Like, oh, they're going to be pretty like chill. <laughs> He's a baby. Like, he no. he won't be. No, like this kid is fighting. Fighting for his life. For fighting his for life. the rights. Literally fighting party. demons. Yes, yes. Fighting for his right to party. And so, <laughs> yeah, that's always interesting to me with Spider-Man movies. But no, that's true. I, lo- I really like them, of yeah. course. Speaking and, of yeah, differences... Speaking of- and, like, just character development of the Peter Parkers. 
um, throughout the different um, universes is interesting because Marvel specifically with Tom Holland, they didn't have that backstory of he's bit by the spider. Like they didn't show that because they were like, we've done this before. Like people have seen twice now, like Spider-Man becoming Spider-Man. Like let's move past that and just jump into him already being that. So mm -hmm. I think that was really cool um, to see those different like levels of it, um, of the character played by so many great actors. Mm -hmm. um, and then also just like the development of Peter Parker in this one, um, of Tom Holland's Peter Parker was so dynamic. Honestly, mm -hmm. all of them yeah. um, was really dynamic um, of really like where they left that. off and like where they're, na where they're at now because he grew up so fast in this with everyone just being like gone from his life. Right. Um, it was cool to see when I tell you Tom Holland came to conquer the baby film, was acting. He had me crying in the club. He, he had me. I had to go to he the bathroom midway through, and I was on. upset, and mm -hmm. I was sprinting he had his because his shoes dude, on. He did. It he came performed. through. He conquered because yes. like the emotions that he was able to convey on the screen was really cool. Um, because we haven't really seen that from him, which is yeah. interesting with such a young character because he's the youngest as of right now i think he's the youngest um part of the avengers don't quote me on that because i don't really remember um no mm -hmm. he's not no sprite's like i was thinking of sprite from eternals sprite looks young but she, she's like a million years probably old. looks a million yeah yeah because like, they're eternal <laughs> so mm -hmm. um yeah so i think he's one of the youngest and so it's interesting how they always talk about him as if he's like emotional and can't handle it and then when it comes down to it he's usually not depicted as that but in here like we really see the full dynamic range of what his character can do and mm -hmm. be um from from being vengeful vengeful from mm -hmm. being um you know like full of life and love and being able to give and have such a big heart to having like a hardened heart and wanting to just murder people just to murder people. Right. Um, and so it was really cool to see that um, those levels that was play cool. out. So Shout out to Miss Parker, the one and only on May. Listen, that was upsetting to me. <gasps> that's, that's my girl. Like she came out there with her little sage and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she said we about to, you know, cleanse the spirits or whatever. And you know what? Aunt she May gave with her us little everything, her fits and everything. She be cute, you know. She comes and has her little yeah. her little outfits on and everything. So that was really hard. It was that was that a was devastating scene, and especially I'm knowing like, that maybe she she's told not him. gonna be dead. Yes, especially knowing that she told him like. You know, you owe it to them to be the best person you can be. And so, in a way, you know, she kind of yeah. uh, bit her own foot with that one. That's too. But I loved how they paid homage in a lot of different little ways to the older films. Um, so, like, obviously the villains came through, the superheroes came through. But also, like, the same saying that Uncle Ben says before he dies in both of them. Um, Aunt May says as well. And then um, I'm trying to think what else happened. Oh, the whole like symbolism of Green Goblin's like floater thing and how it like killed him that first time. That was cool. Um, and how that came back um, as well as like the falling scene with MJ and how, and I speculated this in my heart. I was like, there's, I was like, watch Andrew, Andrew Garfield come through. And to be yes. honest, I thought that's the scene that would have happened where he popped in. Oh, yeah. But he popped in way before that. And yeah. I was kind of like, we were expecting you missed an opportunity the other Spider -Man for to, us like, to be surprise us in, like, the in the theater. Like, Whoa. yeah. And that didn't happen. But um, yeah, no, that was that paid homage to his film um, when Gwen dies, um, which was really cool. So um, mm. there were a lot of different like things that paid homage to the former films that helped this film to be a thing. And so that was really cool. And yes. I appreciated that as a film student. Um, also, yes. we talked about CGI earlier. Mm -hmm. The scene where Doctor Strange and Peter Parker fought. It was good. Chef's kiss. That was that really was cool. 
It was. I'm still confused on how Peter like beat Doctor Strange in his own realm. I'm 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 almost wondering if we'll get another movie that kind of details a little better why Doctor Strange did what he did in this movie. Well, here's the tea. Because Multiverse of Madness is coming out this year. I think it comes out in May actually. Mm -hmm. Um I I can see what you're saying. Cuz those people yeah. are too like smart and they think this stuff out and so i almost wonder if we'll if get a later a movie reason. where dr strange will be like well this had to play out so that we had the best chance to fight against this kind of kind of like the fight with thanos or we needed to know that this is happening like, right so i'm like i'm almost like because he literally he gave us his stone so doing they, the buildings and everything was the trains were folding yeah. around that was so cool but Speaking i don't understand head. how you know don't get me wrong Spider-Man's got some skills and stuff, but Doctor Strange is like messing with your mind. You're flying through the air. You're like shooting your webs at buildings, but the buildings are moving and the yeah. world is shifting and he's in total control like, of all of it. How, How did you win? You know, unless he let you win. Mm -hmm. That's just my... And I could see that. I could see that happening. That. Like Doctor Strange letting something like that happen to prevent something bigger. Because that's more of his character. Right. So I could totally see that happening because that's what happened when they fought Thanos. He was right. like, he gave up his stone, which never would have happened. But he saw right. that that had to happen in order for them order for... to be blipped, come back, fight. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. But very interesting set, very interesting movie. Yes, Themes of loss and grief were written throughout the whole thing. Because, I mean, everyone had lost somebody um so that was sad but like relatable because they have to you know relate it to the audience and as mm -hmm. audiences we're not superheroes we're just little people living our little lives and so um and we've all experienced loss or grief in some way shape or form so that was cool to bring that um humanization into it yeah. um so yeah like i can appreciate that as a storyline standpoint um, so yeah. Yes. It was also very lovely to see all of the Spider Men together. <laughs> they yeah, were so that cute. cute. That was really cute. <laughs> they were it just, was really oh, precious. Because they were like, oh my gosh, we're best friends. They were so cute. So, so I thought that yeah. was so it made my adorable heart happy. and you know, laugh laughed out loud yeah. in their scenes together. They all did just a wonderful job. Mm -hmm. Love Tobey Maguire, I love Andrew Garfield, and I love Tom Holland. Like they just yeah, all they all blew, come, they all bring away. what they need to bring. They absolutely so, did. It was yeah. very good. So very nice. They had a huge fight against morals as well. I liked mm. that theme that they brought in because, like, all of his, all of them have had that in some way. Mm. Like we saw when Tobey became like had the black Spider Man suit um, because Venom attached to him. Um, he he was doing stuff that he shouldn't have been doing. He was like bad and he was just killing people and stuff. And then we see Tom Holland get that vengefulness in his spirit because he saw his Aunt May die. Mm -hmm. Everyone else is like dying and stuff. And he's like, for real. And so he's kind of has this hatred and he's just beating up Green Goblin, which I don't blame him. I would beat up Green Goblin too. If I saw him, it would be on sight. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, but like, I think that was a really cool concept to add in there of like fighting against should I like morally should I and then that was kind of the whole basis of the film anyway of like morally I can't send them back to their own universe knowing that they'll just completely die right like I should at least give them a shot give them a chance to better their life even if it doesn't happen yeah so I'm it was cool and I liked that and it was something that we haven't really seen done before a whole lot um, on screen, so I could appreciate it. Yeah, it was yeah. really nice. I feel like it was, um, overall, it was a really great movie. Um, mm -hmm. it, it was great. The trailers, and yeah. I feel like had they only given us a pumpkin bomb in the trailer, and like Green Goblin's laugh at the end, then we would have been even more shook going into the film and it would have had even better ratings. Granted, it was a, it still was an excellent film and has amazing ratings overall, mm -hmm. but I feel like it would have done even better 
um, had that been, had it been total like, surprise. Yeah, because they or, are they gave us like, all of the villains. I feel like it was very easy to put together two, two and two. two and be like, right. oh, everybody's gonna be in this movie, right? Because I mean, we just saw Even interviewers Indy, were, so yeah, everybody was you know. Even from interviewers all the were saying, and you know, we've gotten pockets of the multiverse. We've seen yeah. um, Gamora come back, and that's true. That's yeah, true. like we've seen. We've seen different pockets of that being a possibility. So I feel like had they not given us that much to work with, people would have seen it, been blown away, and then the reviews would have like skyrocketed. It's still a great movie, but it just felt very predictable. Um, yeah, it was still amazing. But it, you know, it I went in there like, didn't this happen? Like, didn't I already see this? <laughs> didn't we already yeah. see? Because it was like, so. didn't I already see this part? Mm -hmm. But it's like, no, they just, I feel like they gave us a little bit too much information. Yeah. And then with that, I almost, we kind of talked about it earlier about why is Lizard there. But um, I feel like it possibly was too many villains. Mm. Kind of like in Spider-Man 3, that was one of the biggest things talked about was like, there are too many villains, which they were trying to set up Sinister Six then, and then they canceled it. But, um, so I get it. Like, they had a dream, and then it just died. But I almost feel like there was just too much happening, too many villains to be fought for no reason. Like, I understand, okay, everyone's in it, so everyone's going to be in it. Right. But give him, give Lizard a little bit more of a backstory. Give him more than just, like, two scenes um, to make it, like have a reason to be there because he he was just kind of there like yeah like who are you like even ned stepped up in this one like further than he did yeah um so we love so to see sweet. that i hope that we see ned kind of work alongside alongside dr strange that would be really cute yes. and cool to see that development um trying to wrap it up in scenes in credit scenes hopefully you guys stayed for both the second one was just the trailer of dr strange um, uh, Multiverse of Madness, so I'm excited for that. WandaVision will be in that one. Um, and then the first one, Venom is in, which I thought to be a little bit strange how they put him at the end credit scene. Again, that whole, there's too many villains. And I'm not sure like how that's gonna play out and what that's gonna look like, um, but it'll be interesting to see it'll be interesting to see so Maybe. we'll stay tuned so stay tuned on that i guess and watch yeah but yes yeah, many great people it. yeah that's i think that's about it for our thoughts there have been many really cool uh reviewers that are you know yes real high high quality and and super professional the level that we will be at <laughs> will one we? day <laughs> will we Stay one day but um you know please go check out like sharonda from pay or wait um did yes, really great she's amazing one. um and we always love to watch her reviews anyway mm -hmm. um, i'll leave her link in the description box below um she did do a spoiler free review as well as a bunch of other reviews and interviews um a bunch of of different shows movies that um, have been released recently so you can stay updated with her. So yeah, and check yeah. out her and many great other people that are on YouTube. So yes, yep, yes. But it was really good. What's our overall like Rating? out of five? Out of five. Out of five stars. Out of five popcorn balls. Out of popcorn five balls. Boxes yes. of candy. Boxes whatever the candy. movie. All of it. Five movie. film canisters. That's you a can lot. Put it You're up doing. Here. She always be trying to put stuff on the screen y'all as because she's editing that's it. what keeps the like she's gonna really edit that's what pe keeps people coming back all right so i would say a little over a four okay maybe like a 4.4 4.5 4. okay yeah what would you say oh y'all y'all gonna give me um it's a really hard. good movie I would say 3.75 out of 5. I could see that, though. I could see that. I could see that, yeah. though. Like, and definitely yeah. over half. Very good. Um, very good movie. Very good acting. I just feel like we got cheated. Yeah. I feel like we got too much information. And it would have felt so cool to be in that theater like, oh, that's Peter yeah, Parker, but that's the other that's Peter the other Parker. One. And to have that cooler. moment, that would have been amazing. Yeah. And I Which, feel like we I did feel not like we got that movie. moment, but we got it when the trailer came out, not when the movie yeah. came out. Yeah. Yeah. So it feels like the hype of all of that 
happened months ago. Yeah. And we just were seeing it play out on the screen. But, you know, imaginations are strong. So we probably all imagined that happening anyway. Yeah, that's true. You know, so it was like we already experienced it. So Mm -hmm. that's the only reason 3.75. I could see that. I didn't know, man, it would be like a 5 out of 5. Yeah. The only reason I don't say a 5 out of 5 is because I would put Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse far above it. And then I would also say that Shang-Chi... And the Legend of the Ten Rings, as well as Eternals, were extremely excellent in how they how they were done. So I would almost put all of those on like the same level. Um, so if you haven't already checked those ones out, you should because those are amazing. And hopefully, if you have, hopefully you guys let us know what you thought about this movie. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comments below Internet. your rating if you loved it, if you hated it, what you would change. Um, about it and what you I guess hope to see for the MCU in the future Um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and for joining us on this review today